Good afternoon. As you've probably figured out, I'm not really a doctor. Uh, this is to my subscribers. I assume you figured out that I'm not really a doctor, though I play one on TV. Sorry, that's a bit of a joke. Um, I'm posting this video to let my subscribers know what it is I've been doing in the last few videos where it says VTMYTE. That stands for Vampire the Masquerade YouTube Experiment. Uh, Vampire the Masquerade is a uh, role-playing game. Um, in this particular version, uh, it is a combination experiment that um, some 150 players are taking part in around the world uh, that basically um, involves uh, playing this, this uh, uh, game as a combination of tabletop and live-action roleplay. We dress up, we uh, pretend to be a character, we work in video conferences, and we set up scenes. It's very much like improv theater with dice rolls. Um, anyway, the character I play is one uh, is based on a historical person by the name of Dr. Joseph Bell. Dr. Bell was the original inspiration for Sherlock Holmes, uh, uh, was the original inspiration, which um, uh, he basically was the person who, uh, Dr., uh, who Sir Arthur Conan Doyle um, based uh, Mr. Holmes on. Now, in the version, that uh, he was also the personal surgeon to Queen Victoria. He was the founder of forensic pathology, and uh, his deductions were used um, both in medicine and in fighting crime, at a time when science was very little used in the, uh, in the process of police work and crime fighting. So he was very much a pioneer in the field. The version of him that I play uh, in the Vampire the Masquerade world is that um, he was called in to consult on the Jack the Ripper cases by, one, uh, by, by Scotland Yard at the time. He, uh, this would have been around the sixth case after the canonical five murders originally happened. Dr. Bell uh, made some deductions and deduced who he believed the Jack the Ripper was. He was about to turn said person in when it turned out that Jack the Ripper, in this case, was a vampire. He promptly turned Dr. Joseph Bell into a vampire and revealed that uh, to turn him into uh, Scotland Yard, which would break the mat were to be to break the masquerade, which would jeopardize his own life and the life of his family. As a result, Dr. Bell uh, made ghouls of his family, uh, such that they would live a natural life and uh, live with a body double of him to make it a period died a natural death and then proceeded to follow Jack the Ripper around the world for the next 125 years. Which brings him to uh, the city in the game, uh, New Serum in the United States, and present day. That's kind of my character in a nutshell, uh, or my version of Dr. Joseph Bell in a nutshell. Uh, for those of you of my subscribers who continue to see these videos, um, there is, uh, this, is a, uh, uh, this is just me taking part in some conferences and Google Hangouts, and um, you know, unfortunately, the videos have to be posted to my channel because that's how Google Plus works. And then I post them to the main Facebook link um, so that they may be posted onto a blog uh, called Living World of Darkness, uh, which basically allows um, other players and other people to watch them as part of an ongoing world uh, of scenery, you know, of scenes made by lots of people around the world to tell a story. Um, I figure it's a little harmless diversion for myself and gets a little fiction onto my channel. It's actually rather fun. Now, I'm going to post the Facebook link in the bottom below so that people can actually go to the Facebook page and read it and join if they so choose and possibly even become characters in their own right if they wish to uh, take part in role-playing games. That's what VTMYTE stands for. And um, I hope I won't lose subscribers for this because people keep asking what I'm doing. Uh, I will be posting videos on other subjects over the next little while as well. Um, I wanted to uh, give you guys a, um, this was also the other reason I was posting a video today, is to give you a little teaser as to what my, um, as to what my science fiction world is about. Um, the hint that I will give is that there is a marriage between an artificially intelligent computer and a human woman. That's all I'm going to give for now. I will let you imagine uh, the other aspects of this storyline, uh, but that's the first little teaser I will give pertaining to my science fiction story. And I will tell more as time goes on. Hope you all enjoy. Catch you on the flip side.